To answer the question, we must first talk about why we can see anything. For us to see an object, we need light. After the light has hit an object, some of the colors will be absorbed by it, and other colors will be reflected by it. Those colors that are reflected by the object travel to your eyeball and are interpreted by your brain. What this means is that if you see a red fire truck, then that object has reflected red light into your eyes, but it has absorbed all of the other colors of light that have hit it. Human beings do not see every possible wave of light that exists. Instead, there is a narrow range of light that we can see, and that is dependent on the frequency and wavelength of the light. If you imagine looking at a beach ball floating on the waves in the ocean, frequency tells us how fast the ball is going up and down, while the wavelength tells us the distance between the top of two waves. For humans, the visible light spectrum lies between violet light and red light. But there are other types of light that we know of that we cannot see with our eyes, but we can detect like X-rays, ultraviolet light and infrared light. So, why is air invisible? Since our eyes can only see within a very narrow range on the color spectrum, anything that we are able to see must be reflecting light that fits within that range. For air, it turns out that the colors that are able to be reflected do not lie in that visible range. If humans were capable of seeing those particular reflections, our field of vision would be constantly disrupted by the air in front of us. Every day would be like living in the middle of a giant cloud. And because of this, our eyes evolved in such a way that we do not see the air around us. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome stuff. Do like, comment, share and subscribe.